Today's lesson is about annotation. You can see that I've gone on to technologystudent.com and there's a link to this in the links on the resistant materials website you're using. The picture here you can see is a very simple lamp but the annotation, the labels that are around it, are a lot more than just labels. They tell you a lot more information. So you can see that the bulb that's being used, you can see the wattage of it, you can see that the shade has been shaped to concentrate the shape of the light and the shade is also made from plastic. It should really state what sort of plastic it is but it states it's made from plastic so that it insulates and doesn't become too hot when in use. Your job today is to find some household objects which you can then apply some very simple labels to. So you're going to use a camera or you can use a catalogue to take some pictures of some simple household objects. So here is a toaster there in the kettle. Here are three more objects. So we've got a box of tissues, a kitchen mixer and a couple of uh, liquid containers. You can also get your images from online. You can Google search and you can find some uh, pictures and use them as images which you could then print out. I've used those images to drop them onto a page in Publisher. Whatever program you want to use is fine, but you can see I've printed them out with some space. Here are my two pages printed out, which you'll find in the, uh, the links. We're going to do one of them. So here is my kettle. I've looked at it and I've decided which would be the best things to put on it. I've used a ruler to draw a line to the features I want to pick out. At the end of each of the lines I put a little dot. You could put an arrow but I put a little dot so you can see quite clearly what I'm referring to. The labels need to tell you more than you can see. So you can see this is a handle so it's no point in putting the fact here that it is a handle. You're welcome to put the fact that it's a handle but it's just the word handle is a label. You need to actually explain about the shape of the handle. If you look at the, uh, the uh, thing in real life you will know that that is the size that's big enough to go around your hand so it's comfortable to hold. Equally so the shape here is formed so that when you put your hand around it it's reasonably comfortable to hold. The edges are rounded so they don't dig into your hands and that develops into something called ergonomics which is making the product fit your hand nicely. So you can see that I've mentioned the fact that it's ergonomically shaped to fit round uh, the hand. It's got rounded edges and I've also completed the annotation for the switch at the bottom which you can't see in the picture but when I switch my kettle on it lights up telling me that the, uh, the electricity is actually on and when my kettle is completely boiled rather than me having to guess when it sounds like it's boiled it will actually click off and the light will go off telling me that my uh, water is to the right temperature. Uh, some kettles actually have a temperature guide on them and you can set them to, gut to a certain degrees but my one just boils to a temperature and then goes off. Just so you can see the difference, at the moment on this side of the drawing I've got what I would consider some basic labels. Yes we've mentioned the material that the casing is made from but most of those are labels. On the right hand side here we have some uh, annotation because all of them tell things that you can't necessarily see. So you can see this button here for instance, you have to press this button and the lid pops up and you might ask why you need to do that but if you're holding it as you go across to the kettle the lid might still be hot from using it and so you can put your thumb quite easily on this button and as you put it under the tap the lid pops up and you can then fill it. So what could we add to these to make them more of an annotation? The detachable base for instance is pretty easy but from the drawing you can't see what it is. And the reason why you want a detachable base is because it allows the lead not to be attached to the kettle. You don't have to touch the electrical cable when your hands might be wet from washing up and you have an electrical hazard. And it makes that kettle a little bit lighter to carry because you're not carrying some of the gubbins that help the, uh, the kettle to actually work. 
So here you can see I've added to my labels. If we take the detachable base, you can see I've mentioned the, the kettle is now uh, lighter to lift and there's no lead to stop you moving the kettle anywhere once it's buoyed. The filler guide window is there really to help you know how much water is in the kettle and to help the user save energy by only boiling the water that's needed. The stainless steel has two elements. It's hygienic, it's easy to clean, it looks nice. That helps the owner. It also helps the manufacturer because the manufacturer doesn't need to put an extra process on it to paint it. Once the uh, thing is pressed or spun or made, the stainless steel is self-finishing so that it's an added bonus to the owner, the buyer, the user, but it's also a bonus to the manufacturer because they only have to make it, they then don't have to finish it. So overall you can see we've now got some quite complicated uh, annotations. I could add to the fact that the opening lid has to be big enough to allow uh, the tap to go inside and not splash and you need to be able to get your hand in to be able to clean it etc etc. You ought to take the, uh, the other drawings that we've done and you can add to them uh, either a different type of kettle or you can add to them uh, different fittings. Try and include uh, the materials that they're made from. You might like to uh, mention how it's held, the function, why it's done in a certain way, why the printing is on the product, etc, etc. So I've given you uh, three more products for you to have a go at, but you're welcome to use your own ones. You can then, once you've finished that, take a picture, a little bit like I've done here, and if you take a picture, if I can't see the annotation, if you take a picture like this of each item, you can send that to me via email. Or you can scan the entire document and send it to me as a PDF. And if you can't get the pictures onto the page, you're welcome to use uh, your own drawings or you could use uh, pictures out of a catalog, uh, anything like that, advertising materials out of newspapers. You could find products that are useful like that. I'm really interested in you trying to apply at least five annotations to the drawings.